Hey, welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Video today from Life of Abundance. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's chow time. Hey, what can you say at a job interview that you can say in bed? This is being recorded for training purposes. <laughs> hey, what can you say at a job interview that you can say in bed? I got 10 years of experience in this position. <laughs> Hey, what's something you can say at a job interview that you can say in bed? I was so nervous I came early. <laughs> hey, what can you say at a job interview that you can say in bed? Is there any other openings I can fill? <laughs> what can you say at a job interview that you can say in bed? Sorry, what's your name again? Uh. Hey, what can you say at a job interview that you can say in bed? I learned about this position online. <laughs> Hey, what can you say at a job interview that you can say in bed? <laughs> a pretty good one. I came because my friend recommended me. <laughs> hey, what can you say at a job interview that you can say in bed? I'm extremely flexible with any position. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandma. You rock so much. You are so cool. You like it? Yeah. Broke, dusty, musty, crusty. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad. Happy birthday. Thank you. What grandma really wanted for her birthday was dementia. So she wouldn't have to remember this catastrophic performance. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if tacos can fall apart and still be amazing, so can you, puta. So can you. This is all we want. <laughs> we want a man who acts like a man. Mm -hmm. Who's manly, who takes care of things. Leader. Ooh, I don't need you to kill an alligator with your hands, but I need to feel so feminine. Oh my god. My girlfriend sent me this clip, and I tore this clip to shreds. But let's go on. Around you, because you are so masculine that I can turn my brain off because I know you've got it. Yeah. I trust you. I trust your intellect. I trust your character. I trust that I can close my eyes and follow you blindly and I'm going to be happy about where I end up. That's what it's about. We go out. I don't have to use my brain. I don't have to think. You know what I mean? Order the whole thing for us. Take me. Plan the thing. Say where t You tell me where we're going and we're all set. Now to translate this in the language of the woman knees. Basically, what she's saying, she wants a man who's six feet tall, who makes six figures, and has a six foot long flesh rocket. I swear, some of these girls just want to be dating the devil. Just six, 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 everything. So my girl sent me this clip thinking that it was a great representation because I told her this because this is what I do for her. The, the, the description that this woman is talking about a man is how my girlfriend views me and so she thought sending me this clip but i'd be like oh yeah that's exactly me. no i was just like this woman is bullshit this woman all she's saying is that men have to be this certain way and even in this particular clip i don't i didn't see it but she said real men in the clip and i was just like so all men that can't do these things are not real men the way she's talking about all when women come on podcasts we automatically assume chameleon and she was like why because the, this is why women good women don't want to come on no exactly this is exactly why good women don't come on and this is exactly why we know the people that do come on are usually not good women and she, she just kind of got a little upset at me because i was just so judgy about it and i'm like women on the internet talking about how men should be how men should do all these things how men have to be so masculine that it puts them in their feminine why can't they just be feminine and men just be normal and then men will automatically take up those masculine roles because you're normal but when you're masculine yourself and spouting out all these masculine ideas who wants to listen if they're not a millionaire then we can be friends hmm. <laughs> well, if he doesn't own a house that's over seven million dollars i won't date him i just have can he just have a house have, you know goals and expectations and boundaries and this is what i strive for what are the other criteria that you're looking for in a guy i want someone that's successful sure motivated mm -hmm. influential okay good values minimum height actually i'm okay with the guy being short as long as he's rich <laughs> <laughs> 
catch it up. <laughs> I did. Oh. Did, no, did you want Santa Claus to come down your chimney too? I'm dumbfounded. She literally looks like my 50 year old male cousin, but with long hair. Two sticking their tens is absolutely wild. I mean, like the tan, her face. This looks like lip filler right here. Just the way the eyebrows arch. Like, eyebrows just don't arch like that naturally. Like, this is so unattractive. Hopefully, she enjoys like her cats. Like, just imagine being a rich, successful man and coming home to a $7 million house with that. I wouldn't even let her in my trailer. I've never been able to be a soft girl. I'm so like, you know, like, ah, you know? And now I'm just like... <sighs> and then when I lower my voice, and I need to be taken seriously and handled delicately. And I just look. And I'm like, baby, look, I'm not okay. I need this. I need you. I get whatever the fuck I want. 100%. We've talked about this. The feminine, the soft spoken women. They almost get to command anything from their boyfriends and husbands because why they're good women and they speak softly and they ask nicely and they tell us what they want. So guess what men we're going to do it. Who told me to be aggressive? This is crazy. Ladies. Please understand that 9 out of 10 times, the more feminine you are, the more desirable you become. Yep. And this lady right here is living proof of it. Favorite quote. What you're not changing, you're choosing. What you're not changing, you're choosing. You got something That's kind of you complaining about and you're not changing it. Could be your relationships, your body, your health, your job. You're choosing. See your bank account. What's your body count? You gonna pay my mortgage and all my other bills? You gonna cook my dinner and all my other meals? You a man paying a hundred or we talking 50 50? Are you staying at 130 or you going gain 50? You know that's body shaming. Right? Why I got so cold? At least men don't complain about the shit we can't control, like my height. You six feet, so how is that a thing? It's not, but would you be here if I was a short king? Whatever, don't be acting like my beauty ain't a thing Cause I don't see you out here trying to bag an ugly queen Shit, yeah, trust me I have It just wasn't apparent She hid her face behind all that makeup she was wearing Oh, so makeup <laughs> is a problem now Not for you, shit you fine And you don't need a hat to cover your hairline Even though this is just a skit, there's a lot of truth to it I, I actually enjoyed the song And I just wish more people understood this concept Women need men And men need women we are here to complete each other, not compete with each other. It's not a freaking war. Now imagine if more It's more like they were trying to defeat each other nowadays. Women wanted to beat men and some men want to beat women. Women were like this. Hey, I missed you. Let me get your bag. Mm. Dinner's almost ready. You hungry? I made your favorite. Just these few minutes were better than my whole entire life because seeing this is like seeing a Bigfoot riding a unicorn. Now, gentlemen, I hate to break it to you. Welcome back to reality. But wait! There's more! Number one, I do not cook for my husband. I only cook for my children. 
my husband will be making his own breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Number two, I do not help him pay any bills. So if he is short on the rent, on utilities or anything like that, it is not my problem. I will not be helping him out. His job is to provide for his family. So I am not. Everybody told me that this was a skit, that they, they, they make these videos all the time. So not financially contributing to any of the bills. Number three, I do not do his laundry. I, I just think it's still appliable because even though she's making these videos and she's not being real or she's just being facetious about it i'm sure in the comment section most women are agreeing with it i think that's the problem i have my own laundry and my children's laundry to do so he could do his own i won't help him put it away i won't help him fold anything like he, that's his responsibility Number four, he is responsible for replacing any of his essentials like soap, shampoo, anything like that. He needs to go buy it himself. Even if I'm at the store, I will not be replacing it for him. If he See, a good woman does those things because good women, when they're out and about, especially when they're shopping and stuff, they think about you. They're like, oh, my boyfriend, I remember him having low on shampoo. Let me get him a shampoo and a conditioner just in case. Or, oh, you know, oh, I remember his... Thing being a little dirty let me get like a little swipper thing to, to, to help clean up women that are really into you and like you and have want to build a future with you are gonna do these small little things because they care and want to not like women like this that's as she's portraying he needs new underwear new socks or anything like that that's for him to do i'm not gonna do it for him her kids are going to love their stepmothers more than her in a few years. Come over here. Now she says, come over there. Then she says, come back over here. Okay. Where do I come? All over her back. <laughs> <laughs> how many guys do you think you get with it one day? And how many could I get? Minimum five, max ten. Oh, she's she putting up Olympic numbers oh. here. You didn't say that? Ten? I just like what a media yes. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah. You wanna f yes. Why ain't no way, boy? I could do it right now. Oh, shit, let's. <laughs> you do that right now? Yeah. Like, if you, yeah. Like, hypothetically, if, if I pointed out a guy, you said that, he said yes? Yeah, most likely, yeah. Yo, bro. Do you wanna f No, but I'll f your friend. <laughs> she is the better looking one. <laughs> he kept it real for the same way. I don't blame him at all. That's my dog. That's my dog. Let's be honest. That dude spoke what everyone was thinking about the friend on God. She is very gorgeous to me. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Bunny, it's got countless guys lined up ready to mm -hmm. us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how many shoes are you guys counting? Wait, well, these are all the guys. There's more in there as well. I guarantee there's gonna be one chump out there that's gonna eat them both. Are you on birth control right now? Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Um, are you headed to class? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, just let me let me grab your phone number. What? And yeah. Oh, I thought this was like a research project. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of a research project. We got to do it back at my house, though. That's where we complete it. Who are you looking for? Is this a YouTube video? No. I've been looking for a redhead like all day. That's how you approach people? You ask them that? Yeah. Oh. Cool, I don't you know? go to people's houses before I know Well, I'll take you on a date. What do you like to eat? Um, Mexican food. Oh. You're playing. I have IBS. I, I can't I can't do Mexican food, but we can do like Italian food. That's how wait, I'm so thrown off. That's how you approach people? Like yeah, what what I don't understand what, what what's the problem? I don't know, that's weird. It's weird? Yeah. How should I have approached you? Like hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? My name is Julian. I'm Leah. Nice Leah, nice to meet you. I don't wanna get you late, so we can just make this quick here. You can just put your number in and I'll text you and uh fall in love and stuff and yeah what? go from there so this is what you you ask me that a lot that's your go-to i guess you gay okay you have a good day she's impressed and confused at the same time <laughs> like have you guys seen incredibles 
She reminds me of that babysitter. But anyways, I digress. Now, being on birth control and not being in a relationship, that girl demonstrates and portrays more red flags than the damn Chinese Communist Parade. All right, so it's perfectly normal to feel a little loopy, okay? Finally, I can breathe. Ew, babe. You look cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. But not better than your friend. Your friend who be having on them gray bites the box shorts be swinging. I be like, yo, shawty with the gray short. <laughs> you said the nigga feel loopy? Yes, feel loopy, yeah. your friend fine. I wish I would have got with your friend before I got with you because you the ugly friend and I didn't even know it. But it's all good in a hood cause I don't even care. I'm gonna use all your money and spend it. Girl, Doc. Yeah, we'll give us like five or ten minutes or something like that. Thank hey, you. Right you. Uh, uh, don't look at my phone. I be Damn. Did the dentist give her the truth serum? Now, gentlemen, if there's one thing I want you guys to take away from this video, I want you guys to remember this. Is the truth, gentlemen. Being handsome doesn't keep a woman. Being honest doesn't keep a woman. Being loyal doesn't keep a woman. Treating a woman well doesn't keep a woman. Damn. Being there for her doesn't keep a woman. Mm -hmm. Caring about her doesn't keep a woman. Making an effort doesn't keep a woman. Paying attention doesn't keep a woman. Spending time with her doesn't keep a woman. You could have the best intentions, you could have the most sincere feelings, and you could be a good man, and you still wouldn't be able to keep her. Because the only way to keep a woman is if that woman wants to be kept by you. You can't force her to stay. You can't beg her to love you. You can't love her into loving you back. With a woman, you know she wants to stay when things get tough, and she still chooses to fight for you because a woman only fights for the man she truly wants to be with. So if she's not fighting for you when things get hard, it's because she no longer wants to be kept by you. Ooh. The lesson here is, don't hold on to someone who doesn't want to be kept. That's the truth, guys. And it hurts. And I know it hurts, because it hurts me. But just move on. It's not you giving up on her. It's her giving up on you. Damn right. And it's you who shouldn't waste any more of your time. Know when to let go know when to Since my goal is to be a wife and a mother and I'm not sure that I'm going to have a career, how can I- That is a career. How can I serve my country doing that best? You serve your country by teaching your children to love God and country. Don't ever say that being a mother is not a career. Being a mother is the most honorable career and profession. Every single one of those 10,000 that are laid to rest at that cemetery overlooking Omaha Beach, they had a mother, a mother that raised them to do what is right. You know, my mother had a saying. She Damn. Hold on, guys. This might tear me up. Woo. This one got me. She said, a man must stand for something or else he'll fall for anything. We need moms to raise up true American patriots, men and women that will stand and fight. So never put yourself down. Be the strong fighter and raise up the next generation of Americans. And I'm honored that you would step to the microphone and, and speak with me. Thank you so much. Feminism, the cancer that no doctor could ever treat. Strong families makes a strong nation. If you are raising children, you are serving your country. I'd love to be a stay-at-home mom. Mm -hmm. I would love to be a homemaker and a wife. I would love to be able to live on a homestead and go milk my cow and take the eggs out of the chicken coop and have one baby in the belly and on my hip and another toddler coming <laughs> behind me. That's like my dream, but I can't fucking do that because the way the economy is set up is I'm forced to work. I'm forced to get an education, a higher education, a college degree in order to make enough money that I can be financially independent and afford my own home or my own rent or my own gas or my own groceries, my own insurance. And it's extremely difficult to do that and it's very isolating as a woman when you have to do all of that all on your own and you can't find somebody that you can outsource some of those chores and financial responsibilities like you would with a spouse so no being a single working woman absolutely sucks it's the worst thing ever i hate it i would go back to the 1950s in a second just so i wouldn't have to deal with this shit a woman in her masculine energy is not the dream and she is not desirable now, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Oh, I found out the hard way the last time that I tried this.
And I, I haven't seen this done with any other sodas before. And I just don't think it's going to be all that easy. Mothers are wonderful. Mothers are what kind of makes the world turn, in a sense, right? Men turn the world, but the reason we turn it is because of women and family and our kids. And without women, we don't get those things. And I'm not saying all oh, women deserve wonderful things and all oh, women deserve to be wifed up or anything. No, I, just, I believe good mothers deserve everything that should come to them please like comment subscribe down below i really appreciate that and catch you guys next time Ciao.